Good morning everyone and welcome back to Stardew Valley. Yesterday we went back into the iron mines because I wanted more solar essences and we got a fair number of them I guess. Today I believe we have ourselves a finished mill. Pretty sure we do because I don't hear Robin outside. Yeah we sure do. We have ourselves a finished mill which now means that if I have any beets I can make sugar and if we have any wheat I can make flour. I have neither of them because I put all my wheat into the keg to make beer, so there you go. Let's see if I've got anything in terms of grown crops here. I don't believe so. No, not yet. But they're all out there anyway, so at least that's available. Okay, so I think I... Let me go back in and check luck, and then I'll decide what we're going to do for today. Alright, so our luck for today is very happy. Okay, so I definitely need to go into the mines then. Alright, so living off the land is, yeah, basically the worms. Or I mean, the game calls them stems, but I guess most people kind of think of them as worms. Alright, so I'm going to do my ablutions, and I think I'm actually going to go into the Calico Mines today. Just because we haven't been there in a while. And obviously I can get solar essences from, well, really primarily from the Iron Mines, but... I want to go into the Calico Mines just because it's been a while since we've been there, so I'd like to visit them again, and hopefully we'll see. We still haven't found any free-range Iridium. We found Iridium from monsters, but we haven't found any just sitting in ore, I don't think, so we're going to see about that. And we're going to greet our new piggy! Oink oink. Hi, Porky. I also need to go back and get my shears, so I guess I will... Nah, eh, you don't have any milk, of course. Let's go ahead and talk to you anyway, because we need to get you up higher. So yeah, I think I'm going to, I guess, just go ahead and grab my shears, and then I'll see you guys when I get done with my ablutions. Alright, here's hoping that the... The Calico Mines has something great in store for me today. Uh, we shall see. That's not a good start. Okay. Well, it's too bad. Oh god, you... Hi. You snuck up on me, you little bugger. There we go. Okay, so yeah, those guys give me Void Essence, which is not exactly what I'm looking for, but I don't know. We shall see. So yeah, here's hoping that I get some good... Get some good holes, get some good ore, not use all my bombs, at least at once, immediately. Okay, there we go. There's a ladder. But I am getting a lot of stone out of this, that's for sure, so I guess that's a good thing? I didn't know. I mean, it seems like it'd be a good thing. Also, I'm getting a crap ton of slimes. Great. Uh, and I'm about to get run into here. I don't need that, definitely. Alright. Well, that's a nice exit. And, oh god. Uh, ah! Hi. Oh dear, hi. Uh, oh, I might get death is what I might get! Let's go. Oh, that's too bad, too. I was going after some good gold ore and I freaked out. Because, yeah, infestation, I will freak out. Okay, let's... What, what all have I got in terms of food? Okay, well, that shifts my mushrooms to the forefront, so let's uh, eat them. Okay, well, that'll give me at least a little safer territory for now. Really? So, I am curious... There we go. I'm kind of curious. I mean, I've mentioned before what I hope to see from future, I guess, installments of Stardew Valley, so to speak, because I don't think that Concerned Ape and company are through developing the game by any stretch, especially as it has caught on as well as it has. So I'll be curious to see what they might come up with as far as... Because I think mainly what they would do, given that Stardew Valley is a revolving game that... It resets year after year, and there's not really anything in terms of so-called new content, I guess. I'd be curious to see what they're going to end up developing to hopefully try to cater to some of their more established fans. Like, I mean, say, I've, as I've mentioned before, I've put more time into this game than any other game that I've played on Steam, so... I guess I could consider myself an established fan. But I wonder what they're going to put into this game to kind of keep people coming back to it. 
because it's a game I've seen it represented in some pretty popular media as a game that everybody should own, and I fairly agree. I mean, it's a really good game. It's definitely worth having. But I'd be curious to see what they're going to do if they feel the pressure to kind of keep people coming back. I don't know, though. I mean, it's got a fair amount of content just all on its own, and now with the introduction of multiplayer, more sort of local multiplayer, I guess, then there's obviously plenty that they could end up doing with, just with that by itself. I don't even know if they really need to add anything else, honestly, to feel or be a successful game. But I wonder kind of what's going on in the minds of the folks in... We're taking this hole. Bye. Ouch. Oh, that's fine. It doesn't hurt nearly as badly as getting hit by those freaking things would have. By the flyers. So I'd be curious to see kind of some of the things that they're thinking about maybe in the in the relatively near future to try to maybe enhance the, the game and, you know, give it a little, little more, I guess, lasting flair, so to speak. Okay, I'll take some free solar essences and some free gold and omnis. And, sure. And uh, speaking of free gold... Uh, oh dear. Uh, okay. Bad, bad idea, bad idea. Let's go ahead and get you out of the way. Work on... Uh, I can't... No, oh, interesting. You're stuck. Okay. I wonder if this would be a good enough, like, right here would kill that mummy and give me all that gold. Uh, cool, it did. Awesome. I'll take it. I will take it all. But I'd be interested to see some of the things that they may end up doing in the future to try to keep this game really, I guess... I wouldn't say fresh, exactly, because I don't know that they really need to. But to kind of give it new content and give it new life every now and then. Okay, there we go. Oh, good God, look at all those. Holy crap. Okay, let's get you over here where I can control you. Or control where you go, at least. Okay, cool. Oh, my goodness, all those slimes. Oh, hi. Hello. You about snuck up on me. Nice try. I mean, you did good, but I was a little too fast that time. That time, at least. In the future, maybe not so much, but I was at least good this time about it. Okay. Okay, good. It gives me some energy back. Okay, uh... Ooh. Oh, hi. Hello. How you doing? Good to see you. Glad you could join us. Also, I want that coal. But yeah, I'll be interested to see just kind of where Concerned Ape and Chucklefish go from here. Just because this game's a fun game and I'd like to keep playing it. I gotta admit, though... Since I've done most things that a person can do, well, I wouldn't say in the game, because there's still plenty of uncharted territory, but I've done a lot of the things that you can do. I've got most of the buildings except a slime hutch, which I'm not interested in, a shed, which I am interested in, just not quite yet, and I've done basically, I guess, I've gotten to obviously level 25 of the mines in this year. Gear 3, of course, is when Grandpa... Well, when something happens with Grandpa, let's just say. Just for those who haven't played it that far yet. Year 2, you get a new resident in town. But beyond that, it doesn't seem like there's much in the way of more content, I guess. Okay, I need to go up here. Having trouble finding... Oh, never mind. Found. Where are we? Floor 23. Hi. Okay, bonjour. Oh, hello! Uh, okay, uh, almost dead. Let's prevent that from happening. Food, food, food. Yes, it's my fishing dish, I know. But still. And I've got my exit there if I need it. So let's see about... Yeah. I think I might need to see about taking it. Oh, God. What is this nonsense? No, we're out. Peace out, yo. Wow! I mean, my god, did you see that? I mean, if I had swung my sword wildly enough, I probably could have survived, but holy crap. I mean, that, if any of them had really gotten to me, they'd have slaughtered me. Frankly. Oh, boy, that was something else. I probably shouldn't have ducked out, though, because those were a couple of good ghosts that I could have gotten, uh... 
I could have gotten some good... Let's see. I could have gotten some good, I guess, uh, dark essences off of them, but I was so freaked out by the fact that I was about to get just utterly wrecked that I just, in my haste, abandoned the whole thing. I suppose I could go into the regular mines, though, and do a little bit of hunting there. Bucephalus is wondering where you've been. Well, sorry, Bucephalus, I'm going to go into the regular mines now. Might as well go back into the iron mines and see what I can find on a good, prosperous day. Oh, there you go. Nice start to things, I'd say. Yeah, maybe I should have just done this in the first place. I'd have been a little more relaxed. But I did get some good, valuable stuff out of the, out of the calico mines anyway. So, I'll have plenty of money making to take home with me, although I need to get all of that ore into bars so that I can then proceed to turn around and sell them. Oh, good. Ghosts. I'll take them. I will take some gold ore, too. I, that looked weird the way that it came out there. I'm like, wait, what is this? Yeah, let's make sure I don't risk it here. Because obviously with me killing stuff, I can get more in terms of energy because I'm getting more of them every one of those I kill, but it's still... I don't want to risk it too much because... I, I... Well, I mean, who wants to die? I certainly don't, I'll tell you that. Let's see. Okay, kill you guys. Actually, now that I think about it, I... I don't know. I mean, there's a part of me that kind of wants to talk about the prospect of my own mortality and what I've done to try to avoid it, but I may just leave that for another day because, well... Obviously, we're running low on time, and I don't want to rush it too much. Because any thought of one's own mortality or any talk of imminent demises needs to be relegated to a time that is a little bit more extensive than just whatever I'm doing here and now. Hello. You know, mind I'm going to clear a little more room. Hello. How are you doing, Mr. Batman? Actually, something I suppose I could have applied myself to in regards to goals for the last few days of winter and the last few days of this playthrough is, I suppose, talking about maybe book or try well trying to go after certain monsters. Maybe I could have done like a monster hunt sort of thing. Uh, could talk about the book that I'm reading right now, and I should have grabbed that quartz crap. I don't know. There's a few things I could talk about. I suppose I should. And of course, this is kind of too little too late now, but I suppose I should be thinking more about topics that I want to talk about in advance before I start recording. Which, I suppose, is one of my... One of my... One of the things that I would, I guess, regret about this playthrough. I just can't think of... For some reason, I thought I would do better at thinking of interesting things to talk about. Maybe I should have just made a list, honestly and gone, okay, well today let's talk about movies, and today let's talk about music, and today let's talk about TV, and you would get pretty much the same answer from me three different times. <laughs> ah, I listen to video game stuff. Hi, I play video games, which is all true, but I don't know. Maybe I should have done a better job of making a list and checking it twice. Gonna find out. Y'all are nice. I'm not. Okay, sorry, I broke the rhyme on that. I'm naughty, y'all are nice. There we go. Santa Claus is coming to town. Alright, so we did pretty well for ourselves. Even though I about died in the Calico Mines again. Yeah, that's kind of what happens when you get swarmed like that. Alright, anything else I need to put in here? Uh, no, most of it's just going to go into the blacksmith spot, as usual. But yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with the haul from everything, because now we're almost ready in terms of those, the solar essences, and so I think if I go back into the mines again tomorrow, or sometime in the near future, my god, I have 42 quartz? Why? Wow. I also have 131 copper, not, good god, 248 iron ore, this is ridiculous. Wowee. Okay, well first off, yeah, let's go ahead and start with the one that I have the most of. I've also got enough coal to make a few bee houses if I have any, um, if I have any maple syrup, which I should. 
So I suppose I could do that. But my lord. Okay, well, I'd say we did pretty well on that then, didn't we? Okay, you are fruit? Going, do I have enough, did I have the cactus fruit in? No, okay, I had silver, but not gold, so I guess you go in there. You go in there. Then, let's see. Yeah, I guess the rest of it just goes into the various boxes. I don't know. We shall see. Okay, so what else do I have? Got bombs. Those need to go in there, too. You need to go in the fish spot. There we go. God, I need to sell y'all, too. I need to just make another big sale again of all my stuff and just watch the money roll in. I don't know. I mean, just because there's so much. Like, I could sell all of these and be fine. I could sell those and be fine. The iridium ore I'm keeping, or the iridium I'm keeping. Let's see. I could sell all of these and be fine because I can make some more pretty easily. I could sell... I'd probably... There we go. Three quarters of those. Let's see. I could sell some of my diamonds, some of my emeralds, and I think that'll do for now, at least as far as selling stuff. So yeah, let's go ahead and bring on some money, because not that I terribly need it, but it'll certainly help, especially since we're trying to fund the house expansion, which is, of course, as I mentioned, 50,000 gold and 150 pieces of hardwood. I can get the hardwood fairly easily with a couple of days of good effort and thinking about it. The money, though, obviously, that's going to be a little more difficult to come by. So I'll have to be a little more aggressive when it comes to that. But selling all that stuff may very well help. Okay, let's put you in there, you in there. Grab you guys. I put blueberries in the kegs because I ran out of either hops or wheat. So I figured I would just go ahead and put the blueberries in the keg because I've got a lot of them. And they'll sell well enough, I think, when the blueberry wine gets made. All right, so that'll, I think, pretty well do it. So thank you guys for joining me. Appreciate it as always. Tomorrow is Leah's birthday, so I need to make sure to get her a good birthday present, mostly because I forgot poor Evelyn. Poor Evelyn. Anyway, I think that should do it. Thank you guys for joining me. Appreciate it as always, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Well, I was saying that I could sell these and probably be fine. I think I'm fine. <laughs> Good lord. Let's see. So, the iron bars are 180 each. Am I doing the math right? Let's see. 18 times 15 is uh, 20. Okay, so actually they're 190 each, I suppose. Or something like that. The gold bars are a crap ton. They are about almost 400. Wow. And then the copper are a little under a thousand, or a little under a hundred each, so still, they sell pretty darn well. And then, of course, obviously, we've got diamonds, too, so I can basically do just about what I want with money now, should I so choose.